Here at Cymec Atlantis, we've been looking towards the future of tidal turbines. Our Mark II turbine technology will connect many turbines to a single converter on the shore via a subsea connection hub. This will dramatically reduce the levelized cost of energy of the turbines. For this technology to work, however, we must have a faster acting pitch system that is able to control the fluctuations of energy from the turbulent water flow. The pitching system is able to turn the blades from the feather to the fine angle. When the blades are feathered, the rotor produces no power. At fine, the rotor produces full power. In very high currents, the blades must pitch away from fine to ensure the generator is not overloaded. We were awarded an EU grant from the European Climate, Infrastructure and Environment Executive Agency as part of a call for projects associated with the sustainable blue economy. We completed the design of the pitch system in 2020 and together with our project partner Astafeto, who are based in northern Spain, we're now reaching the end of the manufacturing period and will shortly be entering the assembly and testing phase. Today we are witnessing the factory acceptance testing of the actuator mechanism, a vital subsystem that connects the motors to the blades and allows the blade pitching action to take place. At Involution we specialize in bespoke high power density epicyclic gearboxes that are ideally suited to this application where an actuator must be fitted inside a small enclosed space. We have worked closely with Atlantis on previous main gearbox designs and we are pleased to be involved on this 2 MW pitch system. This gearbox has to react the large torsional loads on the blades caused by the tidal flow. We have now completed manufacture at DP gears and we will thoroughly load test the gearbox both in the UK and Spain to confirm its attributes and reliability. A second stage of full load testing will be carried out at Astafeto site following full assembly of the system. There we will apply not only torsional blade loads but the full 50 ton thrust loads that we expect to see in service. This has been technically challenging to achieve and the first time Atlantis have attempted this in onshore testing, but the performance and reliability of the system is paramount to this subsea system.